everybody, Pastor Hans here, and thank you for tuning in to The Daily Dose. When Katie and I first moved into our house here in Alexandria, there was this giant pine tree right in front of our house. And the one thing we knew when we moved into that house is that tree had to go. And so the very next summer, we cut the tree down. But after cutting the tree down, there was this big old stump. And that stump, it would need it would need to go. And there began a battle between me and the stump. We were in a no holds barred fight because we couldn't pull that stump out. It was way too big. So I went, I went to Geyer Rental and I rented a stump grinder. I was gonna win this fight. Well, I brought that stump grinder home and I ground at that at that stump and it went on and on and on and on and about an hour into fighting with this stump, the stump grinder kicked out a rock, it shot across our front yard and shattered a window in my wife's car. She was not happy. I think that uh, that good old stump, it won. It won, huh? But I was thinking about that stump, and I was thinking about the battles in our lives. In some ways, the, the fights that we fight these days are kind of like big old stumps. Some of them have deep, deep roots. I mean, you know this as well as I do. We fight about everything. I mean, we fight about politics. It just never seems to end. In some of your families, you're just fighting to keep your family together. Some of you are fighting to keep financially afloat. Maybe you're fighting to keep your business afloat these days. Or maybe you're fighting to make your way through school. Uh, others of you, as we come out of this year of isolation and all that COVID brought into our lives, you're fighting some scars from this last year. Scars personally, psychologically, or maybe some scars that were left between you and family members, you and friends. We fight, we, we fight, maybe you fight to make a way in this world as a single adult, or maybe you're, you're fighting to figure out life now that, now that your spouse is gone. And Lord knows religious people fight about religious things far too much. You see, we fight. There's so much fighting that goes on in this world. And it's sort of like these big old stumps. They have deep roots. And we can't just sort of pull them out and move past it. Well, with all that in mind, I want to read a passage from you. Paul wrote these words in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. Paul wrote, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Now listen to this. Let your gentleness be evident to all. Let me read that again. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Gentleness. We have a God who calls us in the midst of this life filled with fighting to gentleness. And I think most of us go, really? Are, are you serious? That's how we're supposed to handle conflict with gentleness? I mean, that seems so antithetical, Paul, to what we were raised on. We were raised, at least I was as a little boy, to put up your dukes. We were raised to live a life no holds barred. We were, we were born and raised in a world that says, come hell or high water, you got to win your way. A world that says, never say die. I mean, really, Paul, gentleness? I mean, John even wrote these words. In this world, there will be trouble. I think what Paul is inviting us to is what I would call a contagious calm in a world that is filled with and seems to love rash outbursts and accusations and fiery rhetoric and retaliation. This God of ours calls us to gentleness, a contagious calm. Because here's what I think God knows about you and me. That the reason we fight, the reason we lash out, well, it's because, well, we fight when we feel vulnerable, don't we? We fight when we feel deserted. We fight when we feel like that little kid who gets on the bus and isn't sure if anybody's going to let them sit with them. Uh, that little kid that goes into the lunchroom and isn't sure what table they're going to sit at. We fight 
when we feel alone. By contrast, we have a God who wants you to know that God never watches you and your life from a distance. God never watches you and your life from a distance. You are never alone. And this is the message of our faith from the very beginning to the very end of the story of our faith. I mean, think about it. When Luke tells the story of Jesus' birth, he calls this child Emmanuel. You know what Emmanuel means? It means God with us. You are never alone. And that's the message again and again throughout the story of our faith. We hear that Abraham was never alone, even when he had to wander into a new land. Hagar was never alone, even though she was alone out in the wilderness. Isaac, Isaac was never alone, even though he was forced to move from place to place. Joshua wasn't alone when he had to face the Canaanites. David wasn't alone when he had to face the Philistines. Peter, Peter wasn't alone when he found himself in prison. And Paul again and again, when he found himself in one dire situation after another, the story of our faith reminds us that he was never alone. You see, here's the thing about this God of ours. We are never alone. We have a God who never watches our lives, never watches us from a distance. And because God is never distant, we can have a contagious, a contagious calm. Because you and I, we have that peace that only comes from God, a peace that passes all understanding. I don't know what fights you're fighting these days, but here's what I do know. When Paul was thinking about you and me, he wrote these words. He wrote, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all, for the Lord is near. Folks, thanks for tuning in to The Daily Dose tonight. If you're watching on Facebook, maybe you'd share this post. Maybe others need to hear this message today. If you're watching on YouTube, you can hit the bell so you get notifications. You can always share the link with someone who needs, well, who needs to hear a little bit about the love, the peace, the gentleness of this God of ours. And if you're watching on Cable Access 181, invite a friend to watch tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.